What's going on, y'all? So I've seen a few people ask if you can master in Studio One Artist. Uh, and the answer to that is yes. So I want to show you how you can do that. So I use Studio One Professional. I do my mastering in the project page. However, if you have Studio One Artist, which does not have access to the project page, you can certainly master. And it's really the way that I used to do it before moving to Studio One. I used to use this uh, method, I'll say, uh, in Pro Tools. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is export your mix as a WAV file. And so what we've got here is a mix that I recently finished uh, for an artist named Just Money. And this is a WAV file that I've exported from the mix session. I've set up a new session uh, titling it the same song with just master on the end. Uh, so the name of this song is You Look Like a Model. My mix session was titled You Look Like a Model Mix. And I created a new session titled You Look Like a Model Master. And... I've imported the WAV file into Studio One, and from here, all you have to do is add your plugins and handle your mastering. And from there again, export it, and you've got your master in Studio One Artist. Uh, you still have the ability to uh, tag the song as you would with the project page, and you can do that from... Song Information. And so from here, you can tag the song uh, just like you would in the project page. Uh, there is some, you know, features that you don't get doing this, but in its most basic form, you're able to master your song. Now, I want to show you another way that's um, a little more advanced, dealing more with signal flow that you can use to master your song in Studio One Artist. And that is to not use the digital summing of Studio One, which, which, which is what happens when you export your file, uh, rather... And then doing that, I'm going to show you a way you can use the A to D converters on your interface if you have enough inputs and outputs that you're not using. So say, for example, you have a, we'll use the a PreSonus Studio 192 interface, for example, um, has multiple inputs and outputs on it. Let's say you're not using all of those inputs and outputs. You can take a TRS cable and connect from the outputs. Uh, for example, let's say you're not using 7 and 8. Uh, connect the outputs of 7 and 8 to the inputs of 7 and 8. And what you would be doing is using the AD conversion of the 192 to record your master back in. So what I've got here is the first track is uh, the mix. And let's say, for example, let's just assume that we've already mastered this. We've got our plugins on it. The track I have below it is what we're going to record into. So we're going to record out of this top track into the bottom track and you set that up of course with your with your IO routing on the track so in my case I've got the output of my Antelope Orion 1 and 2 it's coming into uh, the inputs of 7 and 8 and then I'm monitoring from my uh, Antelope Audio Pier 2 so once I'm going to play a little bit of the mix and if you monitor and solo safe, uh, you should be able to see the levels from the top track coming into the bottom track. And of course, if we hit record, now I can record from the top track into the bottom track. So let's print some of this mix and then I'll show you how to export it. And printing is is pretty much what this technique is known as. If you hear people say that they're printing their mixes, uh, a lot of times they're referring to recording the mix back into the DAW. Uh, so let's record uh, the first few bars of this. I bet you didn't know that I would love to love the love ya. You were something I've never seen. Okay, so once we've got your mix recorded back in onto the new track and some people wouldn't want to in this case apple e and do export mix down but that is not what you would want to do what you would want to do is the shift apple e which is export stems so what you first want to do is solo this track so it'll be the only track selected export the stem and you want to select tracks and this bottom track, of course, is our 
bottom track here. And this way you would be exporting just this audio file that you recorded back in. If you do the export mix down, it's going to sum both of these tracks together, which you don't want at all. So remember, if you use this method, you want to do export stems instead of uh, export mix down when you're exporting. All right, uh, so that is how you can master using Studio One Artist, and that is also how you can print your mixes when you master back into Studio One. All right, I'll catch you all next time.